Hey everyone, welcome back to the third episode in this mini course on blending modes. And just as a refresher before we move on to the third blend mode, let's talk about the first two real quick. So the first one we talked about was the luminosity blend mode, which is great for if you're looking to protect the color saturation in your scene. So if you have a photograph and you add in some contrast, for example, you're going to richen those colors up and you're going to increase the saturation. Well, to make sure that the colors are natural in your photograph, you can always use the luminosity blend mode to strictly apply whatever filter or adjustment or layer you have, and that's going to apply it strictly to the luminance values in the base photo so that you don't muddy up or richen up the colors too much. And then we had the overlay blend mode, and the overlay blend mode is great for if you're wanting to incorporate contrast into your scene quickly. So if you have a washed out or flat photo and you want to bring in some contrast into specific areas or even just the whole photograph, the overlay blend mode is a great, great tool for that. So in episode three today, we're going to be talking about the multiply blend mode. Multiply is categorized into the darken blend modes. That means it's going to darken up your image. And technically speaking, the multiply blend mode is going to multiply the luminance of your base image by the blend color. And in doing that, it's going to produce a darker color. Now, a couple things to keep in mind with the multiply blend mode is that white isn't going to produce any change in your base image. So for example, if you have a white layer that you're trying to blend on top of another layer with multiply, it's not going to do anything to that blend layer. Another thing to keep in mind is that black isn't going to change at all. So if you have black in your base image, using the multiply blend mode isn't going to modify the blacks in your base photograph. The great thing about all of this is that you can use the multiply blend mode to easily darken overexposed photographs. So that's what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to use it to help washed out or blown out photographs and bring them to life easily. So now we're inside On One Photo Raw 2020 and if we take a look at our image here, I wouldn't say it's incredibly blown out, but it's definitely overexposed a little bit and we could easily come in here and add some mood and drama with our multiply blend mode. So to demonstrate the multiply blend mode, I'm not going to modify anything inside my develop tab. This is just the original photograph with the lens correction applied. So now we'll head into the effects tab here. I'll add a filter and I'll add the curves filter. And the multiply blend mode is one of those blend modes where if you don't have anything applied in a filter or an adjustment, it's still going to darken your image. So if I go into my blending options here for my curves filter, and I go to my mode, watch as I go down to multiply. So keep an eye on the photograph and then I'll click multiply. Immediately we'll darken up the photograph. And already, just by putting that multiply blend mode on, if I click in here, it's already a more interesting photograph because it's darkened it up, it's taken all those washed out highlights and it's added in some nice mood and it's a more engaging photograph in an instant. And just like many of the other filters and adjustments of PhotoRaw, I really like to apply these things selectively. So if we just want to moody up the sky area here, we can do that with that multiply blend mode. So I'll just hit M on my keyboard. That'll grab me my masking bug. I'll head up to my preset here. And now that we want it applied to the top area, we're going to choose, it's going to sound confusing, linear bottom. And that's going to protect the bottom, protect the bottom, and it's going to apply this curves filter to the top of the image. So we'll click linear bottom, and then I'll drop this down here and then I'll feather it like that. And now let's go in here. I'm going to add another filter. I'm adding the curves filter. And now I'm going to use the overlay blend mode just to incorporate contrast into the bottom of the photo. So I'm going to go to my gear options. I'll choose my mode and now I'll choose overlay. But I don't want this applied to the top because obviously there's way too much contrast in the sky. But the bottom of the photograph benefits a lot from that overlay blend mode. So let's take it off the top and let's just apply it to the bottom. I have my masking bug selected already. Now I'll head up to my preset and I'll choose linear top. Now I'll just drop that down in the middle. And now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard to view our original, just by using those two adjustments together, one using the multiply blend mode, and that's going to bring in that nice mood into the sky and remove all of the washed out highlights. And then the other adjustment is applying this tonal contrast into the foreground area so that it's not just white down there and we have this you know, moody sky. So now these two filters 
with the different blend modes are working together to create a cohesive photo. So if I go over to my filters, and now if I turn off my overlay curve, that's removing all of the contrast in the bottom. And now if I head down to my multiply curve, I can turn that off. And now it's removing all of that darkness from the sky area. And so now we're back with this washed out photo. So we'll just turn those back on and voila. A much more interesting photograph simply by using two curves filters that don't even modify the tone curve and then using two blend modes. So let me show you the multiply blend mode on just one more photo to give you a better idea of when you should use it. So I'm just going to hit F on my keyboard to pull up these landscapes. Then I'll just head over here. And just immediately looking at this photo, we can see that it may not be an overexposed photograph, but the top area here, since it's really foggy, could use a little bit of TLC. So let's go over to our effects tab. I'll add a filter. I'll add the curves filter. And then we'll go into our blending options, mode, and we'll choose multiply. So now, if we turn this off and on, it immediately kind of glues everything together with that contrast and lowering the exposure a little bit. And it just makes a much more even, much more detailed image. And if we turn this off and on, you can see it even livens up these colors in here. So the multiply blend mode is an awesome tool if you're looking to dim down a photograph, darken it up a bit, and you can always, always apply these adjustments and filters and layers selectively in Photo Raw. So try out some masking when you can, go in there, play with the blend modes, and that's really the best way to start learning about them. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more on one videos.